Shabbat Shalom, beautiful Pene or friends and extended family far and wide. Parshat Vayera. Today, the saga of Abraham Avinu, Sarah Imenu, and Hagar continues and deepens. As we have learned, Abraham, in the narrative form of a mythic hero's journey, and accompanied by Sarah, is being led on an adventure of discovery, a challenge course, a training program in spiritual leadership that will last his entire life. In a radical break from everything familiar, Avram and Sarai have rejected the greatest metropolis of the known world to head out into the unknown. They leave Ur, a city whose name is Light, a place of brilliant but distorted light. The light is intense but warped. He cannot see. Says echo philosopher Peter Russell, as we strip away the layers of accumulated obscurity, the core message becomes increasingly clear. It gets simpler and simpler. There is a growing recognition that awareness of our true nature does not need studious reading of spiritual texts, years of meditation practice, or even deep devotion to a teacher. Only the willingness to engage in a rigorously honest investigation into the nature of awareness itself. Not an intellectual investigation, but a personal inquiry into who and what we really are. It is a journey of discovery. Like Avraham, we too must leave behind everything that is habitual and obscuring in order to lech lecha, to discover our true nature, our true mission, what it's all about, and learn to see. Every part of Avraham's story and that of those he loves is part of this journey of peeling off the blinders and learning to really see. As you recall, we are therefore listening for words about seeing, as they are not accidental. Avram and Sarai go forward. Seven promises beckon, and ten tests. The tests of last week's Parsha brought Avram and Sarah into Mitzrayim, the tight place, which, as we recall, proved to be more ethically challenging than was anticipated. They face a no-win challenge without despair, and they emerge from Mitzrayim richer. Four more tests unfold in last week's reading. Separating from Lot, rescuing Lot, accepting Hagar. Brit Milah. Each of these is huge. Now, even more dramatic tests await. Four more, even more 
dramatic tests await unfolding in today's Parsha. Negotiating with God to save Sodom. Going to Avimelech, yet another ethical test. Sending his eldest son, Yishmael, away. Culminating in the Akedah, surely one of the most difficult narratives in Torah. Each test must be understood as an outward and visible sign of an unfolding inner spiritual journey. We are each taking off the blinders and learning to see. When, to his dismay, Avram must face that things will obviously not work out between Sarah and Hagar. Hagar flees from Sarah's wrath. An angelic messenger, a malach, finds her near an ayin, not a well, but an eye, an ayin, an eye of water. The Svas Emes says, water is chesed and emuna, flowing faith and kindness. Hagar sees it. She calls upon the name of Yah, calls God a God of seeing, and names the ayin be'er l'chai ro'i, the well of the living one who sees me. A malach has opened Hagar's eyes. She can see. Avram, still working on it. While recovering from his circumcision, Absorbed in meditation, sitting at his tent in the heat of the day, Avraham senses a presence. He lifts up his eyes and sees three men, three shimmering angelic presences, three messengers one of whom announces the coming birth of Yitzchak. Avraham is progressing. Yitzchak's arrival brings great joy, but only worsens the situation with Sarah and Hagar. Instructed to obey Sarah, Avraham sends Hagar and Yishmael out towards the caravan route back to Mitzrayim. But they get lost. And again, with their lives in peril, a malach calls to Hagar. Again, her eyes are open. She sees. Hagar sees easily. Avraham progressing, but still learning. It is hard to encompass a Parsha like this in so few words. The narrative is complex and dense, a weave of sub-stories and incidents, all rich in hyperlinks and loaded with nuance. Yet it flows inexorably towards one of the most terrifying narratives in Torah, in which Avraham believes 
or fears, that the enigmatic instructions he hears mean for him to slay his son Yitzhak as a sacrificial offering to God. A not uncommon practice, alas, in the ancient world, which gratefully this story ends forever, at least for our people. Avraham tests this presumption in every way, but unlike at Sodom, he does not protest, for which he is critiqued. But he does take three days to walk a one-day trip. And he is surely trying to receive a clarifying message. That message does come at the very last moment when arriving at the place called, no surprise, the mountain of seeing, he begins again to see. As his hand reaches for the knife, he lifts up his eyes and sees a ram thrashing in the thicket caught by its horns. Rav Google says, an adult ram weighs 280 pounds. Must be hard to notice. The Svasema says, from here we learn that everyone is gripped by blindness until we allow the infinite one to open our eyes. Everything that we need is in front of our eyes. All we need to do is uncover our eyes to see. This is what David Melech prayed for in Tehillim, Gal enai va'abita niflaot betoratecha. Gal enai, open my eyes and I will see your wonders. Avraham's training program affords him many tests and failures. I suppose not unlike us. But he does, in the end, learn to see. So can we. The blinders come off, intermittently and then powerfully, even if at the last minute. There is so much to be said about this. In your own life journey, have you had moments of seeing? When? What did it take? What did you discover? Was your life changed in any way? Is it hard to hold on to what you discovered? What hinders your ability to see? Is there anything you want to notice right now? As always, if these questions touch your life circumstances, 
when we call our unified Aliyah to Torah, rise in any way you might wish and reach towards Torah. Kimi Tzion Teitze Torah Udvar Adonai Mirushalayim Baruch Shenatan Torah Liyamo Yisrael Biktushato Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echa Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonainu Kadosh Shemo Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonainu Kadosh Shemo Gadlul Adonai Iti Uniramema Shemo Yardo own life journey? Have you had moments of seeing? When? What did it take? What did you discover? How was your life changed? Is it hard to hold on to what you discovered? What hinders your ability to see? And in these turbulent times, is there anything you want to notice right now? If these questions touch you, as we call our Aliyah to Torah, rise in any way you might wish and reach towards Torah. Ve'ya'azor ve'yagen ve'ashia l'achal achosim bo ve'lomar amen Hakol ha'avu godel l'eloheinu u'tnu chavod la'torah na la'amod la'torah Ya'ak am'ab baruch e'natan Torah le'amo Yisrael b'gidushato ואתם הלוויקים בדוני אלוהיכם, חיים כולכם היום. ברכו את אדוני המבורך. ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך אתה היה. אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר קרבנו לעבודתו, ונתן לנו את תורתו. 
ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. ויהי אחר הדברים האלה והאלוהים נישא את אברהם ויאמר אליו אברהם ויאמר הנני Now after all of these things had taken place Now Elohim tests Abraham, saying to him, Abraham, who answers, I am here. Vayomer kachna et binecha et yechidecha asher ahavta et yitzchak velech lecha אל ארץ המוריה, ועליהו שם לעולה, על אחד ההרים, אשר אומר אליך. Saying, take now, I ask you, your son, the beloved one, the one you love, specifically Yitzchak, and go forth towards your true self in the land of seeing where you will rise him up as an offering of rising there on one of the high places that I will say to you Vayash came Avraham Baboker ויחבו של חמורו, ויקח את שנני הרב איתו, ואת יצחק בנו, ויבקע עצי עולה, ויקם וילך אל המקום אשר אמר לו האלוהים. So Abraham gets himself up in the morning, saddles up the donkey, takes two of his young assistants to help with him, and Yitzchak, his son. He splits wood for the sacrificial fire. He makes himself get up, and he makes himself move forward toward the place that has been told to him by Elohim. ביום השלישי, וישא אברהם את עיניו, וירא את המקום מרחוק. ויאמר אברהם אל נעריו, שבו לכם פה עם החמור, ואני והנער נלכה עד כה, ונשתחה ונשובה עליכם. So now, on the third day, day that it takes him to make an 11-hour hike. Abraham picks up his eyes and he sees the place in the distance. So Abraham says to his assistants, you stay here with the donkey. I and the boy will go forward where we will bow down to worship. Then we will return to you. Vaykach Avraham et atse ha'ola, Vayasem al Yitzchak beno, Vaykach beyado et ha'ish ve et ha'machet, Vayelchu shnehem yachdav. Avraham takes the wood for burning the sacrifice, gives them to Yitzchak, his son, to carry, takes in his hand a fire source, and the knife for slaughter. And the two of them walk forward together. Vayomer Yitzchak el Avraham aviv. Vayomer, avi. Vayomer, hineni b'ni. Vayomer, hine ha'esh v'ha'itzim v'ayeh ha'se le'olah. 
ויאמר אברהם אלוהים יראה לו עשה לעולה בני וילכו שניהם יחדיו. Now Yitzchak turns to Avraham, his father, and says, Father, who answers, I'm here, my son, it says, I see we have the fire source and the wood for burning the sacrifice, but where is the lamb for the offering to go up? Avraham answers, Elohim will cause us to see the lamb. for the sacrifice, my son. And the two of them go forward together. Vayavo el makom asher amar lo ha-Elohim. And they arrive at the place that was directed by Elohim. Vayiven sham Avraham et hamizbeach. And Avraham builds there an altar. Vayaroch et ha'etzim. And he sets up the wood to light the fire. Vayakod et Yitzchak beno. And he ties his son Yitzchak to it. Vayasem ato oto ala mizbeach. There, lying on the altar over the wood for burning. Mima'ala etzim, vayishlach Avraham et yado. Now Avraham stretches forth his hand slowly. Vayikach et ha-ma'achelet, and he takes the slaughter knife that will devour life. Lishchot et beno. to slaughter his son. Vayikra elav malach Adonai min ha-shamayim. Vayomer Avraham, Avraham. And now, suddenly, the malach of Adonai calls from out of the far cosmos, saying, Avraham, Avraham. He says, Here I am. Vayomer, al tishlach yadcha el hanar, ve'al ta'as lo me'uma, ki ata yadati, ki yere Elohim ata, ve'lo chasachta, et pincha et yitchilcha mimeni. The Malach says, Put the knife down. Don't lay a hand on the boy. Don't hurt him in any way. You have proved now, finally, that you are in total awe in the center of your being of Elohim because you would not withhold even your dear beloved son from me. Vaisa Avraham et Enav Vayar Vine Ail Achar Nechaz Vasvach Bekarvav Vayelech Avraham Vaykach et Ail Vayalehu Leola Tachat Beno. So now, finally, Avraham picks up his eyes and sees. Surprise! There's a full-grown ram right nearby with his horns caught in the thicket. So Avraham slaughters the ram, offers it up as a burned sacrifice in the place of his son. Avraham calls the name of the place Adonai Yerae'eh. Adonai will be seen. Asher ya'amer hayom. As it is said right now, in the high places of Adonai will true sight be found. Vayikra Avraham shem hamakom hahu. Adonai yireh. 
Asher yeomer hayyum behar Adonai yerae. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher natan lahu tohat emet Vechaye olam nata betochenu Baruch atah Adonai Noten May the Holy One of Blessing Who has blessed all of our people that we learn, however intermittently, however powerfully, even at the last moment, to take the blinders off and see. Gal enai, open my eyes. May all of our eyes be open for everything we need is in front of our eyes. All we need is to uncover our eyes to see. At these turbulent times, may we be so blessed. At this time, it is our custom to offer prayers for healing. We invite you, if you are crowd watching, to mute in just a moment so that you can call out the names of those to whom you would wish that our healing prayers be transmitted from Torah and our heart through your heart to the ones you love. Bring to your heart and surround and healing light, anyone to whom you would wish that our healing blessings be transmitted today. You can hit pause. To call out the ancient words that Moshe Rabbeinu called out when Miriam, his sister, was stricken and he prayed, Anna Elna Rafana la, please God, please heal. And she was healed. Reaching towards Torah, we call out. Anna Elna Rafana la. for everyone whom we hold in our hearts and for our, our country in these most turbulent and dangerous times we pray may you give a listening heart to whomever we elect and may it be good in your eyes to raise up for us a good government to bring healing justice and peace to all living in this land and to all the world. A government that will honor the image of God in all humans and in all creation for rulership is yours. Give all people of this country the strength and will to pursue righteousness and seek peace as a unified force to uproot racism and violence, to make healing, good life and peace flourish here and throughout the world. Amen. 
We stay present as the scroll is lifted. The Pursue righteousness and seek peace as a unified force, <coughs> uprooting racism and violence. A world filled with, and if you wish to unmute, you can call out your hopes and dreams for the way the world can be and must be. A world of A world filled with healing, a world of good life, a world of peace for all the people and creatures of this beautiful blue-green planet. O Diavo Shalom, Aleinu. Odiavo shalom aleinu, odiavo shalom aleinu, odiavo shalom aleinu. Amen. Yeah. 
heart a vision of healing, good life, and peace here and throughout the world. We offer at this time a Kaddish Yatom, a Mordus Kaddish, that the neshamas, that the souls of all those for whom a Kaddish Yatom is offered this morning will rise in shalom and wholeness, completion, fulfillment, and peace yet higher into the light. If you are group watching and you wish to again hit mute in just a moment, you can rise and call out the names of those for whom you offer a Kaddish Yatom this morning. holding in our hearts all of those for whom we offer our mourners Kaddish. Yitgadal v'yikadash shemei rabo be'olma divra chirutei v'yamlich malchutei b'chayechon u'v'yom echon u'v'chayei d'chol b'yit Yisrael b'agala u'v'zman kari v'imru amen yehei shmei rabba mevorach l'alam u'olme u'lmaya yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpaar v'yitromam v'yitnase v'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal shmei b'kudisha b'richu l'eila minkol b'yichata b'shirata tush b'chata v'nechemata Damiram de Alma Bimru Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya, the Chaim Alenu Valkol Israel Bimru Amen. O Se Shalom Bimroma, who ya Se Shalom, Alenu Valkol Israel, Valkol Yashvetevel Bimru Amen. May the one who makes Shalom in the highest of the heights. Help us walk a path of shalom. Help us to become the shalom which we seek in the world to make healing, good life, and shalom flourish. And may there be a yet further soul ascent into the light for all for whom a Kaddish Yatom is offered this morning. As is our custom, or has become our custom. We close our Torah service in Keloheinu. Praise to the incomparable source of blessing in our hearts and on our lips. The melody. I on
home, everyone.